Good morning. Dwayne here, Dry Creek Wrangler School. It's uh, September 4th, uh, the first day of classes for this fall session. Uh, and uh, so we wanted to make a video before we got too busy and uh, make sure we keep content up. We started to make one out under the tree this morning, but we uh, it started raining again, which we are not complaining. We've needed rain so bad. Um, and uh, it rained all night last night, and it's raining this morning. So we moved into the barn in here this morning. And Mama says it's okay, it's rustic. And uh, so, uh, speaking of Mama, we got a, we are almost to 100,000 subscribers. We're at 91,600 or something right now. And at the rate that it's climbing, in just a few days here, by the time it's time to do the next video, uh, we'll be at 100,000. So, Mama came up with the idea that for that video, she's going to sit with me and we'll do a video together. And I'm going to hold her to it. I'm not going to let her get out of this one. She's got to do it now. And uh, so, in between now and then in the comments, is, is there anything you'd like to know? Is there anything in particular you'd like to ask Mama? Uh, you'd like to know Mama's side of things? Uh, or or anything else? And, and if there's much there, then we'll... We'll sort through it and and come up with some subjects, and <coughs> some questions, and ask them for you or answer them for you. Uh, cigar this morning uh, is a different cigar and it's kind of a unique cigar. Uh, got the band here off the foot on my finger. Stillwell uh, Navy Number no. Ten Fifty Six. Now I've had a couple of these before and I really liked them. And somebody sent me a gift. They sent me a box. And uh, now these, I don't know if you know who Steve Saka is, Steve Saka of Dunbarton. Uh, he and another fella got together and developed these and they have pipe tobacco in them. Now these are not black and mild, okay? It's not, it's not unusual. I mean, there's over the years, there have been cigars that have tried to incorporate pipe tobacco uh, in, but they've always been a mess in my opinion. Um, they've always used cheaper tobaccos and uh, and usually it's they're so sweet you can't you can't even and they're just they don't even taste like cigars that's not what this this is cigar it's it's got cigar tobacco made up with cigar tobacco but they've added some high quality small amounts of uh pipe tobacco in there and so it's it tastes like a cigar, like a cigar should, but there's hints and notes of uh, of pipe tobacco. And now I'm talking about, I think it, there's some Virginia Burley um, and uh, some Virginias and some Burleys. And, and I know there's some Orientals like some Latakia, which just gives it just a little bit of that spice. It, like for you pipe smokers, like your English tobaccos, like your... Um, Peterson morning blend or something like that. It's got some of that oriental just back there, but it's still a cigar um, <clears throat> I think you ought to try it. Uh, it's pretty unique. So um, Want to do this video there's been a kajillion comments on the channel and uh, I'm positive positive across the line and there's a lot of young people on there that are getting on and commenting and they're just lost. I just, they're just lost. And a lot of young men are, are realizing that they've been sold a bill of goods and they haven't, they haven't been prepared for life. And some not so young men are waking up too. And you know, I've been asked a number of times, what's some advice, you know, I could give for young men. And so this morning, I just wanna, I wanna give five things that you can start developing in your life to become a man among men, to become that man uh, that you need to be and that the world around you needs you to be, okay? Um, and I'm gonna start out, now this first one is gonna sound so vanilla, all right, so tapioca, so light, so nothing on the surface, um, but it's not. You need to work on being a good man. Now, before you throw your hands up, 
there are a lot of people out there that don't know what it means to be a good man. Especially, now I'm going to kick over a hornet's nest here, especially in the deeply religious world. They don't know what it means to be a good person. Listen to me. The absence of evil is not an automatic indication of the presence of good. All right? I'm going to say that again. The absence of evil is not an automatic indication of the presence of good. You've got negative, you have positive, and you have neutral. Neutral is there's no negative, but there's no positive either, which means it's a big zero. You remember studying in school negative and positive numbers? All right, picture that graph you looked at on the page. There's negative 5, negative 4, negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And we say down here on the negatives, Dwayne, I, I don't do drugs and I don't abuse women and I don't steal from people and and I don't do this and I don't do that. And so they do away with all the negatives, but they don't do anything positive. Congratulations. That person's a big zero. All right. Being good. Being good is proactive. It's doing something. It's it's. And you don't have to go and volunteer in India at an orphanage uh, or, or haul bags of rice to Africa. Uh, it's just caring about people, all right? That poor, beleaguered cashier at Walmart with the tired eyes and the swollen ankles, just look her in the eye and ask her, how are you doing today? Just somebody actually cares. You know, we talk about holding the door. Well, somebody stops on the side of the road. Your neighbor down the road is in a difficult place and they can't get their yard mowed. The old lady across the street, the old gentleman across the street, it snows. Just take your shovel and go over and shovel their sidewalk. Just somebody at work, you, you watch and you look and people at work, they're going through a hard time. Just, hey, are you all right? Anything I can do to help? Just in your life, in your life, be an agent for good. It's kind of like people say, I support the troops. I support the troops. What do you do for the troops? Do you send them care packages? No. Do you walk up to them when you see them in a restaurant in the airport in uniform and do you stick your hand out and say, thank you for your service? No, I don't do anything, but I support the troops. No, that just means you're not against the troops. And going through life, become a good man. Or woman all right now there's there's that's a lifetime right there of study okay but start start working on that second be a dangerous man now being dangerous is not being a threat they're two different things all right and it's not about going out and lifting weights and getting a bunch of tattoos and wearing leather jackets and walking around with your chest and shoulders up hulking around saying I'm dangerous that's very rarely is that a dangerous man. Often the most dangerous man in the room is the quietest man in the room. When we were in Wyoming um, <coughs> this last trip, I was talking to the neighbor behind me, he, the manager of all this uh, grazing land, ranch land, and across the road he, had just a, he and his wife had just a few head of sheep. Not, not very many, 10 or 12. And we were talking about, and he was talking about this is here and this is over here. And he said, now, I don't, I don't recommend you go over and, and uh, check out the sheep. He had one of those, he has one of those great Pyrenees dogs over there. He said, that, that dog doesn't know you, and, and he, might, he might eat you up uh, protecting those sheep. Now, sat there for a couple days and watched. That dog was dangerous, all right? But that dog did not sit on the hillside up with his head up and his hair flowing in the wind like some kind of lion telling the whole world I'm dangerous. He wasn't down at the road down there barking at everything come by says, I'm dangerous. He was just with the sheep, and he was not a danger to the sheep. 
the lambs and the ewes and everything come around and go in around amongst him and everything and they were perfectly 100 percent safe and when they were all down in there and in the down in the middle of the day and kind of gathered up and, and resting he's out under a shade tree out there somewhere he's resting too he's not telling everybody how dangerous he is in fact from a distance if you look down there he looked like the sheep about the same size big old white woolly you couldn't tell him from the sheep but you go down there and he thinks you're trying to harm one of the sheep uh it's a different story he's dangerous Listen, this, you, you cannot, if we tie this into the, fir, the earlier point, be a good man, you can't be a good man, a fully good man, if you're not a dangerous man. All right? To be good is to do good to people, and sometimes doing good to people is protecting those people. It's protecting those people, protecting those around us, all right? I, I'm a, these days I'm a, I'm a laid back, mellow, middle-aged fella and, and I kind of talk slow and easy and I move slow and easy, all right? But you say one, one disrespectful thing to my wife in my presence or I get a phone call from one of my daughters crying, um, I am, not only willing, but I'm able to inflict great bodily damage. And I will do so. I'm not a danger to those around me. I'm not a danger to the sheep. But you need to be a dangerous man. Look up, there's a guy on the internet, and he's on YouTube, and he discusses this. He's much smarter than I am. He discusses this much better. Uh, Jordan Peterson. Um... And he talks about this a whole lot more eloquently than I can, all right? Uh, but you need to, first off, you need to get it a mindset. Look, I'm not a sheep. I'm taking care of those. That, it's, it's a willingness and a mindset. And then you work on the physical side of it, all right? Start losing some weight. Start going to the gym. Start learning some things. And, uh, fellas, if you are not, willing and able to some degree to protect the family that you have started you don't have a right to have a family that's that's my opinion that's Dwayneism. okay um you don't have a right to have that family um so study these are things i'm just giving you to start and you you research okay be dangerous third be educated Listen, you want to know how to be a man among men? You start following and reading and listening to guys like Jocko Willett, Jordan Peterson, um, these guys, and start learning. And start learning. Start reading. Um, and just the brain is a muscle. And like any muscle, the more you work it, the stronger it becomes. I've talked about reading on here before. It's hard. <laughs> Mom, Mama laughs at me all the time. I cannot multitask. I get to talking and I completely forget about my cigar. Uh, I only do one thing at a time. All right? Become educated. All right? And I don't mean going to college. I'm not knocking college. All right? Um, but become educated. Learn to do things. Learn what's going on around you. But go through life, learning, learning, learn something new, okay? Uh, become educated, and become educated and better with your, with your vehicles. Uh, educated, of course, in our line of work, what we're doing, educated with horses, you're always learning. Uh, you're always growing. You're always reading. We've got two young men here, um, apprentices we've got here, and one of these young men, he's always reading. He's always um Dwayne, do you know, do you recommend a book on this? Do you know of a book on this? And he asked me the other day, and I said, well, there's, I recommend this book here by this fellow. He says, oh, I already have that one. And I have the, the sequel that he wrote to it after that. And these weren't novels. Um, and, but he's just always learning, always growing. All right? Just, just become educated. Um, thirdly, be calm. Be calm. All right? Now, 
mama's grinning behind the behind the phone uh, a lot of people talk on the channel about how calm and level i am look this is not the me that used to be and it's we we look and at these comments that talk about how lucky your children were to be raised by you my children were not raised by the me that is today it's a journey all right i was a hot-headed scratchy old fella i just didn't know any better all right had a lot of stuff outside of family in my life that was causing tremendous amounts of stress and i was bringing it home and i was not calm you need to just be calm just be calm well, Dwayne. how do i be calm get rid of the things that don't let you be calm all right, if you come in and you watch the news every night and it just agitates you, turn the dang news off. They're lying to you anyhow. It's inevitable. Nothing you can do about it. Turn it off. You got people in your life that are just people of constant conflict, people of melodrama, just people that are always stirring the pot. They're not happy unless the pot is stirred. Just walk away. I have friends friends, old friends, family. I just walked away. And I guard my calmness. We have a deal here. We have Sunday night. Everybody comes in, and so we lay out the rules. Rule number one. Rule number one, every class, do not disturb Dwayne's calm. All right? Just calm. Find things that will make you calm. Cigar? Okay. Calm music. Listen, if you got a stressful job that you don't like, that you're not proud of doing, and you are slamming Mountain Dews and Dr. Peppers and Sweet Teas or whatever, jacked up on sugar, jacked up. I used to drink, I used to drink a six pack of Dr. Pepper and two big tall glasses of sweet tea every day. And then go to heavy, heavy um, stress construction jobs and stuff. And along with the other things in my life, uh, I stayed jacked up. I stayed, just quit. Cut that stuff down. Cut it out, all right? And if you do that, and then you've got cranking, driving music on your radio to work, that stuff just gets your heart rate going and gets you going. So you wake up over the morning, you got a job you hate, you don't like, you don't want to go to. Um, you slam some sugar breakfast down. You grab you a Mountain Dew or a Coke or a Dr. Pepper on the way to work, and then you crank up some hard driving music and you come screeching and roaring into your job and you get out and go in and, and it's, it's machines and everything else going and people are not happy and people don't want to be there and whatnot. Goodness gracious, it's no wonder you're about to blow a gasket. Make some major changes in your life. Change that music. You, say you listen to country music. Well, there's a lot of country music these days that to me is not very country. But instead of listening to you know, Brantley Gilbert, learn to appreciate some Amy Lou Harris, okay? Find beauty and calm and kind of tone down on the drums and the screaming guitars a little bit. Cut down on the sugar and the caffeine and there's people in your life that just, just draw away, just draw away. You need to be calm. And then when the inevitable conflict comes up, and it will because this is life, go into it calm. Go into your conflict calm. Because if you're calm, you're thinking. You're logical. You're level-headed. When you get mad, all logic and reason goes out the window. Okay? So, be calm. Learn to read books that are just put you in a, a, um, a perspective state of mind. All right? So be calm. And lastly, be wise. Now, wisdom, it, it's a lifetime of study, wisdom is. And wisdom is not what you know. Wisdom is knowing how to apply what you know. You know, the saying is, wisdom is knowing that tomato is officially classified as a fruit. That's knowledge. Knowledge is knowing that wisdom is officially... Let me try again. 
Knowledge is knowing that a tomato is classified as a fruit. Wisdom is knowing not to put it in a fruit salad. You don't have to open your mouth and dump out everything that's going on in your brain. You don't have to tell people everything you know. You know, there's two sides of that calm thing. There's the people who stir things up around you. But there's the times we go around and we, we tell tales and we agitate. Hey, I heard this. I heard this. Did you hear this? And they're stirring stuff up. Be that quiet man. Be that quiet man in the corner. All right? You got something to say that's good, beneficial, helpful, or properly corrective at the proper mind, proper time then say it. Otherwise, be wise. All right. Talking all the time about everything to everybody, that's not a, an indication of the wise. All right. So now these are just, these are just some, some things just to think about and to help. Uh, and it's a journey. It's a journey. All right. You start where you are today, and you say, I wish I was that man right there. But I'm not, and I don't mean that particular person, I mean that kind of man. I wish that is the kind of man that I was. Well, it might be a long journey to get to that man. But start, work at it all the time, make sacrifices. And the other thing is, you've heard the saying, fake it till you make it. You see that man right there, and you want to be that man right there, pretend to be that man right there. Listen to me. Pretend to be that man right there. Inside, you say, you know, I'm not really that man. I'm going to act calm. I'm going to pretend like I'm that calm man. But I don't feel like I am that calm man. But I'm going to act calm and I'm going to pretend to be calm. Then are you not calm? Do you not become calm through that process? All right? Act like, but see and picture. Listen, if you don't have a destination, how do you know when you've arrived? And how do you know how to get there if you don't know where you're going? Sit down and figure out what kind of man do I want to be? And then begin the journey. But just this country... And the people around you need good men, good, effective men. We have enough neutrals. We have enough people running around out there that, I, let's be completely honest. Let's, let's be completely honest. If you were to leave this world tomorrow, would you leave a hole? If you were to leave this world tomorrow, would you leave a hole? Become the man that leaves a big hole when you leave this world. All right? Hope it helps. And uh, I'm going to stop right there, and we'll catch you guys next time.